getting late. Where to now? All right. Uh, oh, hook. What's this? Uh, we're alive. Yeah, I can't talk. Okay, let's talk to Hook. A button. Uh, hook? You. This I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, uh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark, Hook the Great. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. <laughs> all right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Okay, I'll shoot. Um, let's trust. That's all you can walk the talk. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say hey, this. what are you trying to say? <laughs> Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Alright. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute? This is Svarog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. All right. <laughs> All right, let's look around. Yeah, all the robots are here. Wait, what's up here? No, I can't go over there. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, <laughs> watch this! Open sesame! That didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. <laughs> uh, what about these clues of yours? Hm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. 
Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Uh, what are the tests? Okay, spelling tests or comeback tests. Do you give a uh, gadget? Ah, I can't read that. Ah, I can't. Well, I'm going to say this. What's the test? <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... the... Uh, special. Yep. Oh dang, we don't even have those. Alright. Alright, let's see. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Yeah. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. Beep boop. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? I don't even know. What? Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Oh, shoot. Alright, hold on. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My component. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. <laughs> you know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Well, obviously like this damn treasure. I didn't notice. Um, okay. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Ah, uh, okay. Um... <laughs> yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Ah, I think I found it. up all alone. 
Yeah, I think I found who the person Silence, is. Dismay. How to make sense of this vision of great you to protect, her to defend, queen of oblivion, lies with no end, child born and bred of the underworld dark, or hey. keep him in home far apart. Like hey. honor, the struggle persists, fighting mm. his parents in solitary wish, crack yeah. and flame, flicker and light, and now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him, gritting his teeth, leaves a city behind. Breaking hey. of claws, gnashing of teeth, evil hey. intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't hey. make a sound with your breath till it's over. Oh, hey. me, don't let the panic take over. How yeah. you win your silvery light? Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight now that blizzard descends. I Start to close the voices of family lost to the snow. Another bell of bug night, the hate the lies just can't hide, yeah. Oh heck yeah, I like this the rap. Days cold as ice while the world passes by, yeah. Another bell of bug night, I find the lies can't abide, yeah. On his face, one last smile, a sign the sun always rises, yeah, yeah. Uh, she done. All right, I think I know who might. Launching stage one. Pros who is the reigning champion? Correct answer. Yeah. Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. To please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the? Uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> so this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beep, boop. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh. I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> this from a likeness. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, oh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Ah, uh, hold on. I think I, I heard about this. Answer? That's lame. It's back to school for you. <laughs> okay, that's a stuff. Something right here, right? No, no, no. You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got. Ah, you're just salty. All right, hold on. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Riddle me this. A mic. Huh? Lucky guess. Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. Alright, so I guess... What are you doing? I meant her. Give me your hand. Huh? Me again? <laughs> it hurts, you know. Uh, ow. <laughs> there, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. <laughs> That's what rude, rude robot. <laughs> yeah, I get the freak out of here. Stupid nerds. <laughs> All right. Beep, beep. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm. There's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Init nish 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. 
Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Well, we're fighting now. Time for sword play. We're gonna make this fast. Uh, let's see. I've no interest in conflict. This is our chance. This song's for you. But yeah. Rules. I can do this. Are to be broken. <laughs> How many can you fight? Is she? I'm gonna get freaking paid. Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? <sighs> At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Alright. Affirm. Open Sesame! See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I would. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? <laughs> nope. We're charging in. <laughs> Gate? Oh, why is there another gate here? <laughs> it looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Uh, he, he, he left. Where is he? <laughs> he left. Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. Yeah. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Ah, uh, who's a good boy? Here's our certificate. We just want to see your master. After this one, I have a few tricks up his sleeve. I'm saying this. Just to be funny. <laughs> oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? <laughs> Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? Mm hmm. We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Uh, I'll say. Yeah. Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core is bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. So, Rivet Town, huh? Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Yep. Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. And uh, the town had dangers, yep. In 
indeed. And that little girl <laughs> heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. And it doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Oh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Clara said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Alright, I'm gonna skip some of the fights. Kinda gets annoying sometimes. Well, not. I can go over here, heck yes. What happened over here? Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? Yeah. These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Uh oh. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be in. Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Alright, where is it? Oh. Oh, she can attack. Just as we feared... There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Yeah. Help me improve. Blade and fight. <laughs> Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> I've no interest in conflict. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Let's try. How many can you block? Strike with heart. Too late to repent. All right. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. All right. Take down. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Uh, speaking of Faro, we'd like to visit to him. We were planning on paying him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? Yeah. But... Mr. Svarg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here. But Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- Hey. Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know, Mr. 
Mr. Svara. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? Oh shoot, I, I didn't mean to skip that. Come I'll on! I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go. Damn, I keep skipping it. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. <laughs> so young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Oh. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we can't even preserve Clara, is there another way? <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Oh yeah, I think I know. We need to recognize our value. We need to say this. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the results of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? I don't think so. <sighs> There's always a way. First, we have to convince Clara. Hmm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. All right. All right. She turned that way, quick! All right, we gotta go down. What's over here? Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. She's ass. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. Oh, there Best she is. Yet to come. She's literally right there. Can't stop the rock! Wow, good stuff. Hmm. Why won't it... Ah. I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. We couldn't give up that easy. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. 
That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah. I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarlog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Uh, was it really an accident? You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah, I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And then you two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Okay. Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this! Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. Oh, yeah, this crap! To examine its inner workings. Oh, goddamn. Hey, I'm in the middle of doing a fucking video. Press X already, goddamn it. Time to examine inner workings. Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... Uh, we're not trying to win, um... We're not trying to... Uh, I, mean, I don't even know. I will say this. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... What is it? Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Hmm. How we do this? Hmm. Uh, or maybe this. No outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silver Mane Guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Ah, not even from this planet. Be uh, free people more than we started. There's just no way that Sparrow's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Yeah. Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. They're not made up. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. 
You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Ah, shoot. Ah, man. Why do you keep doing this? Okay, we will bring change to this world. I'm saying this. I... Uh, okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarok's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting, just like in the mine. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. All right. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. Yeah. Uh, before I do anything, I want to look around first. Yeah, we gotta go all the way over there. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, right here. I'm back, Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarok. Well, hold on, shoot. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can. Please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. Yep, I'll hopefully. I'll negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. All right, uh... Um... I want to say this. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Mm. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Yeah. Mmm. You know we're here. Mmm. I'll say this. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. 
Yeah. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Oh shoot. Um. Okay, I'll see. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say that. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains. A peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. I'll shoot. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three, monitoring automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Ah, oh, shoot, we're gonna fight him. A strong adversary. Help me improve. Mm. Shit. I don't got wind power. But I got fire, that's it. Shit. Shit, it's your characters. Alright, um. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. I'm gonna go fast. Let's make it quick. No manners, huh? <laughs> I'm asking questions. I ain't gonna fucking die. Test. Zero points. Time for sword play. Strike with heart. Analysis complete. Oh, what a fucker. Well, I don't think we stand a chance. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Hey, she's here. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Yeah, I need a healer. Help me improve. Ooh. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna do this fast. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Well, bam. Okay, fire. Everything is ordained by the star. Oh, star. Just four. Trailblazers, your blessing. Rules are made to be broken. Decide to strike. Freedom. Well, bam. Blade and flight. Zero points. Burge initiated. Calculating results. You more than that. Answer me. Freedom. Well, bam. How many can you block? Your answers? <laughs> Let's go. 
Yeah. Time for sword play. Strike with heart. Reinforcement. Oh shoot. Analysis complete. <laughs> Evaluating variables. What the heck? Fuck. Oh, let's see. How many can you block? Everything is ordained by the oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Blade and flight. Excellent. Practice is over. Swords descend. Yeah, attack my first. Attack me. <laughs> SAS per knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Huh? Zero points. Yeah, okay. A test. Fail. <laughs> Calculating result. Rules are made to be broken. All right. Got it now. wish right now is for everyone to work together like like family recently I learned something new calculation results can't always bring people happiness even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful people still want to know what it's like assessment system reset Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Ah, uh, Thanks to Clara. Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. <clears throat> Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Yep. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No, but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. Ah, uh, the two can be heartbreaking. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Oh yeah, we got a trophy. Dang, sorry it took so long. My own on. All right. Let's hear the truth. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting yeah. database materials cache serial number one three one seven five. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. 
This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless what? Unless... Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. Ah, uh, not a one. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. The Supreme Guardian, she... She sees further than you or I. All the decisions are, are for the security of Malabarque. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy, <coughs> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Oh, I don't wonder why. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <sighs> there was lo they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. Yeah. It would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Mm. Branya, are you okay? Ah, uh, she feels bad. I'm, I'm fine. I just... 
I feel a little faint. This must be a lot to take in for you. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Alright. Well, let me see. Keep at it. Right. I want to hear. I want to listen. At daybreak, the guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. At nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Ah, oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. Hey. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. I don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just... I don't know what I should believe. Yeah. No. You just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> I don't think it's that simple, but... How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory, or just the joy of making it out alive? I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. Why did you call in for reinforcement? Ah, I knew that you get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Pretty sensible, right? <laughs> uh, I was asking why you went uh, behind our backs. <laughs> My assignment was simply to take you to Svarog's lair. I got the payment and delivered the goods. I wasn't obligated to tell you about my dinner plans. But I threw in something extra regardless. I only did that because we're friends, or I would have charged extra. Here's a slice of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. Plan C. We call that. Hmm. You seem to... You seem to enjoy mumbling the water. Hey, now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight. That's all. Fierce words, fists flying. What's not to like? Easy right, there. You. Don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Ha <laughs> ha You see? Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously though, Sampo will always be happy to assist you. <sighs> the Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will... Ah, dang, okay. You support King at the right moment, thank you. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? What, what about Oleg? 
Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Well, wait, wait, you're the real leader? Dang. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Uh, you're welcome and all in the hero day of work. <laughs> I'm saying that. <laughs> when the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. Yeah. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. I uh, will things as they are. You want to take a back seat? Will it be difficult for us to defeat the Guardians alone? Of course, say that. there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't oh, really? let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. Uh, well, she's down with us. Uh, she got a big uh, shock. You're right. Yeah. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. <sighs> hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Corps for now. You head back and recuperate. Alright. We really do need a break. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Oh, I got one of those. Alright, I want to do something real fast. What else? At the base. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. Mr. Svarog, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs. Intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior. Intact. So your memory module is okay? I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog? Can I delete some of them? I cannot <laughs> grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must they are memories of family. Ah. Uh. I understand. Mr. Svarok, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. Alright, alright, I'm gonna do something real fast. I'm gonna look up something up. Why we do something too serious? Okay, um.
The worlds are already changing, for equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured, the trial of the equilibrium will find you. Hey, it's starting to be annoying. That was even part of the goddamn story. At least I love the love. Yeah, fuck the challenge. Alright, can I continue the story now? Yeah, 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 whatever. Alright. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not doing that. God damn. What the heck? There's some new stuff I don't know about. Dang. Ah, uh, this must be a different event. Alright, hold on. What the heck is half of this stuff? How interesting, alright. But I get the chance though. Alright. Let's continue the goddamn mission. Okay, what the fuck is the goddamn mission? Yeah, I gotta read the goddamn story so I can get to this. Hmm. I'll need. We're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Hang attack first, sorry, I wasn't able to defend him. Um yeah, we couldn't do it. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. Yeah. For instance. Where is the Stella on and why does Yeah. Exactly. There must be a reason for this sudden change in her attitude. And we still don't have the coordinates and location of the Stellaron. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Actually I've been having some dreams. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Oh yeah, about her. The voices too. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you're having them because... Because of what? Because of the Stellaron inside her? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. Yeah. 
We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Alright. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. And who's that? All right. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yeah, we need You're a place back. to rest. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. All right. We need to go to bed. Oh. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. <laughs> that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language were you using? <sighs> In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> 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 that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. She like, no, hell no. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. Mm -hmm. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is 
very important to me. Aww. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? Oh, what getting... Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yeah. Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does make sense to you. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. Oh, shoot. Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zilo. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... <sighs> Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. <sighs> okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But, remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. Very nice. They're talking. I know it'd be great friends or a great couple, to be honest. <laughs> <sighs> that was a good sleep. Yep. I should go meet up with March and Dan Hung. Yep. Well, tell me the characters. Well, I'll change characters first, okay. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? Not this time. So that's why you slept for so long. Well then. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move, and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! Yeah, we've been here for a while. Alright, we should make it. Oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Svarog, the big hero of the Underworld. Haha, <laughs> March. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7. <laughs> Were those lines rehearsed? <laughs> Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we get it. Uh, whatever happened to trust? <laughs> I'm not uh, seeing the apology here. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll say this. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. Uh-oh. Can we trust him? I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need 
to knock us out this time, <laughs> right? No. Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. Now, why do we need you? <laughs> Just tell us who the path to... Why you use us? <laughs> um, I'll say that. <laughs> that would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. <laughs> Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? Oh, she fuck. It's not like that. She just has many responsibilities to bear. I don't completely understand. I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Ah, that damn it! I have to read this shit. Uh, I was screwed in my mind. must refer to Japard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Vol! So she's Japard's older sister. Mm-hmm. Well, hell not the happens to her, she yeah. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that Supreme Guardian's head... <sighs> even Branya might have trouble understanding. Sampo, do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. I wanna fucking go right now. Can you just take us right now? I wanna go. But I wanna hear them first. You ready yet? If you want to keep wasting time, I'll just go on ahead by myself. What? Still something you want to talk about? All right, let's make it quick. Oh, come on. Uh... Mm, not much. We just chatted a bit. It really isn't worth going into. <laughs> I promised her that I would help her rebuild the connection between the overworld and the underworld. That's all. All right, the journey. Mm. I didn't really give it much thought, but traveling with you bunch does always lead to unexpected surprises. Hardy combat and exciting adventure. Ah, dang. Of course. <laughs> you didn't see the look on Joshua's face. He could barely hold back his tears. Chief Oleg, he didn't say much, but I know he's not the kind to wear his heart on his sleeve. It was my choice to go up, and Natasha supported my decision. Besides, you could use another person who can fight, right? Yeah, that's all. All right, then let's cut the chat and move out. All right, all off. Ah, oh, young lady, I wanted to see you off, but you know how things are here in the underground. Solve one problem and three more take its place. Hmm, something you wanted to ask? Yeah. Yeah, about her. Natasha, trust me. In her eyes, an ex-military officer was more suited to be the leader of the organization than a doctor. But the most important thing a leader needs is a strong heart. An ability to unite everyone toward a common cause. In that respect, no one in the underground comes close to her. 
I heard you came from the Ulmer world. <laughs> I was actually once an officer of the Silver Main Guards. After being discharged due to an injury, I followed my old lady here to the underworld, where I planned to retire. But as things would have it, I ended up busier than ever. You, uh, do you regret There's it? nothing to regret. Life in the underworld is hard, but people here are kind, and everyone is close, like one big family. I want to let the what sticks for a wildfire. Wildfire has already made it through its darkest days. With Natasha's leadership, we have the confidence to lead the Underworlders to a brighter future. And much of that is thanks to all of you. All right. Fortunately, Svarog turned out to have some useful information for you. After all your hard work, I'd feel quite guilty if you left empty-handed. <laughs> well, you still have a long journey ahead. I have no doubt our paths will cross again one day. Till we meet again, friends of Wildfire. Hey, I'm doing this late. Sorry. All right. Shampoo. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Fuck yes. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. About her. Mother. I have returned. Yeah, we're getting to the serious here. Rania. I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Oh. I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother? You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... The... Enough! Oh, she is. What? <sighs> Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Guards! Take Branya. Oh, shoot. They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me, I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, Stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just... 
Didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Oh, that voice.